Hi Church, welcome to 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. We hope you're encouraged and blessed by this morning's devotional. Hey Church, I hope you're having a great day so far. And I hope that you're being uh, inspired and encouraged during our 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. And, uh, and I hope that you're getting heaps out of these videos as they come out uh, each and every day. Today we want to focus on acknowledging the incredible work uh, of our volunteers uh, who serve in all of our services uh, right across the board, whether it be uh, teenagers on a Thursday, youth on a Friday, our international services on a Saturday night, or our Sunday services across multiple locations. Um, we couldn't do what we do without you, and, uh, and we want to honour and acknowledge you uh, here today and, and just appreciate uh, all the time and effort and hours and, and all the different things that you do to, 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 to make uh, our church what it is, and, and we couldn't do what we do without you each and every one of you. And uh, some of you may not know, we have over 400 volunteers uh, in the life of the church. And, and just to give you a bit of an idea, on, on, on Sundays alone, it takes between 70 and 80 volunteers just to run our services just for Sunday. Uh, and that doesn't include our other services. And so that just gives you an idea. It might sound like we have a lot of volunteers, but I want to encourage you, uh, we're always in need of more. Uh, but I want to encourage you with, uh, with the scripture uh, here today. Uh, particularly for our volunteers who, who, who give sacrificially all the time. And, uh, and it's just a bit of a challenge as well. And it comes from Romans uh, 12, uh, verse 6 to 13. I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation. It says this, In His grace, God has given to us different gifts uh, for doing certain things well. So if, if God has given you uh, the ability to prophesy, uh, speak it out with as much faith that God has given you. If your gift is serving others, uh, serve them well. If your gift uh, is teaching, then teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If your gift is giving, give generously. If God has given you a leadership ability, take that responsibility seriously. And if you have the gift of showing kindness to others, do it gladly. Now, in verse 9, it says, Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection. And, uh, and take delight in honouring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Take delight in honouring each other. Never be... Uh, sorry. Uh, never... Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. When God's people are in need, ready to help them, always be eager to practice hospitality. What a powerful uh, passage of scripture. Uh, we see in the first half of the, of the passage where it talks about the different giftings uh, that we have. You know, we all have different gifts uh, that are required to fulfill what God wants to do in the life of the church. And God has placed you here for a reason and a purpose. You see, no gift uh, that you carry uh, is better or worse than another or is, or is higher in the pecking order or lower in the pecking order than others. What you've got to understand is that we all carry a different gift. And when we operate in those gifts and we, when we bring those gifts together, it unifies us to be one. And so I want to encourage you today, if you think that you play an insignificant role in the life of the church, I want to encourage you that you're not. Every role that is, uh, no matter how little or how great you might perceive it, it all plays a part in the body of Christ and you get to play a part of it. And I want to encourage you, even if you're not part of uh, serving on a team uh, here in the life of the church, I want to encourage you to get involved in, uh, in, in serving in, in, in the life of the church. So, so, you know, the first part identifies uh, the different gifts that we have. The second part is an instruction uh, for all of us in how to conduct ourselves and how to operate uh, in our giftings. You know, uh, th this part of the passage refers to the condition of our heart, you know, in, in which I think is the most important thing uh, when it comes to serving is the condition of our heart. You know, it's less about us 
and more about him and more about others. And, uh, and, and I want to just encourage you with that scripture where it says, you know, don't just pretend to love others. It's, it's easy. You know, you might be sitting on the front door, on, on, uh, uh, standing at the front door on a Sunday and you might be, and you might be like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shake everyone's hand, welcome them to the church. But you might be, you know, you might have had the most down week or something might have happened in, in your life in that particular moment. And, uh, and, you, and you just don't have the energy or don't have the effort or don't have the will to want to have that smile on your face. I want to encourage you is to whatever it is, however you serve, whatever role that you might play, I want to encourage us before we walk into the building of our church each and every Sunday is to, as we're driving to church, is to be like, God, please renew a right spirit within me. Uh, and to really give our, our, our heart a, a reality check um, each and every time before we serve on a Sunday so that when we walk into the building, when we walk into church on a Sunday, when we serve and we give our, and we give our best on a Sunday, our heart is in the right place. And so I want to encourage you uh, with that. Now, hate what is wrong. Um, hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection. I love in our church that, that, uh, that I, I, I look around in a foyer on a Sunday and there is a genuine love uh, for, for, for people uh, in our church. You know, take delight in honouring each other. I love it when we, you know, when we, when we have our, uh, our team huddles, uh, when, we, when we have our pre-service briefings and whatever. You know, I, I see the honour that we, that we have for each other. We have a lot of fun. We, we do it. Uh, we, we do everything that we do uh, because we want to honour each other and honour the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Never be lazy, but work hard um, and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Um, you know, every leader loves a volunteer that is enthusiastic. You know, um, it, it's difficult when, when you have team members on your team and, uh, and they're like, you know what, I had a late night last night and I really would have enjoyed a sleep in, but I'm here because I'm rostered on and I'm doing my thing and, uh, and, and I'm here because you want me here. You know, that's not the reason that we want you here. We want you here because you want to be here. We want you here because you have a heart and passion to serve God and his people. And so when you rock up and, 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 and you roll into church and you're like, you know what, I, I wish I had the week off or I've been on the last two Sundays in a row and, and, and everything is so down, um, I want to encourage you, give a, check your heart. Check your heart. That is the most important thing that we can do when it comes to uh, acts of service and volunteering in the life of the church is to make sure that our heart is in the right place so that when we get here, we're ready to serve, we're ready to love one another, we're ready to honour each other and we're ready to honour the Lord in our acts of service. You know, I want to pray for you all today. But before I do that, I want to summarise, um, you know, just this passage of Scripture and just the challenge that we have for today. So to summarise all of this, is that we're all different and unique and we all carry different roles and, re and responsibilities and giftings in the body of Christ. But we're also challenged about our heart and in, which, uh, and in how we serve and that is something that we need a constant reminder about. Can I just pray for you, church, here today? Father, I want to thank you for each and every volunteer that serves in the life of the church, no matter how great or how small or how significant or insignificant that they might find it. But Lord God, you know uh, that, that all, all, all roles and all giftings and, uh, and all, all, all ways in which we serve uh, honour and glorify you. And none are in, insignificant, but all are significant in, in the life of the kingdom. And so Lord God, we thank you for everyone who, who serves in the life of the church. And Lord, we, we pray uh, uh, for, for those of us uh, as we come in to serve uh, the house and as we volunteer on, on a regular basis. Lord God, I pray that, that you would challenge our hearts each and every time that we come to serve. Lord, I pray that we would, each and every time before we come, we're driving, we're, as we're driving into church, Lord, I pray that you would renew our hearts, you would renew our spirits, and you would renew our mind each and every time that we serve, that we can give you our best and, uh, and you deserve our best. And so, Lord God, I pray that you would help us bring our best to serve you and to serve others in, the, in your mighty name, in Jesus' name. Amen.
So that's it. But I want to encourage you today, if you're not serving in, in, in the life of the church, uh, there's a great opportunity that you can do that. We're going to post a, a link below. Um, and so if you're, if you're uh, seeing us on socials, it'll, there'll probably be, uh, it'll probably be a link in, 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 the, in the socials as well. So if you want to get involved, I encourage you to get involved. But other than that, have a great rest of the day. I encourage you to meditate on the scripture, pray with your family and friends today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We truly hope that you were encouraged from today's devotional. Our heart is that not only would you get something from what was shared today, but that you would share this link with a friend or a family member who would be blessed by today's devotion or even come to know about the love of Jesus. Have the most incredible day and we look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. God bless.